Let me ask you, uh, for Fromage, Chris Ward did it before you. How did you get a hold of my, uh, a Fromage? Was it through Denise Donlin? Uh, Chris left. And uh, for a couple of years, the guy who produced the show with Chris continued to produce it. And he had me host it. But it really wasn't my show. Uh, I thought the show was really actually pretty shitty. Um, and, you know, it was mostly making fun of foreign videos, which is like that's shooting fish in a barrel. Um, and so when that producer left to go to another station, Fromage was going to be over. Nobody had picked it up. So myself and uh, my, uh, my producer and writer, uh, Leanna Kersner, um, we decided to do the, it was 99. So we were going to do the, the uh, uh, worst music videos of the 20th century. So we, uh, we, you know, we, we went, we found the videos ourselves in the library, researched them, made up the material, recorded it, edited it, and then just gave it to Much completely finished. And they said, what's this? We said, Fromage. And Denise said, uh, I thought Fromage was over. I said, well, it's not. And so, you know, typical of Much Music in those days, they're like, okay, let's run it up the flagpole and see what it does. And it did well, and it kept doing well and, and became the most successful in-house uh, Much Music production every year. So, wow, that's, that's one of those what ifs. I mean, what if you didn't take the initiative and it, it, would have, it wouldn't have existed, I guess, right? So that's... Uh... It would have gone away. It would, and that show that followed, uh, Video on Trial, that right. was a show. I created that show, pitched it to Much, um, and they said no. They didn't want to do it. And then when I refused to do more, they wanted me to do Fromage every month. And I said, that ruins the whole thing. Because, first of all, then I'm going to have to start using videos that don't really deserve it just to pad out the show. And it takes away the, the annual feel of the thing. So I said, no, I won't do it every month. So then they took the proposal I had for, uh, video, I called it Video, video Court, um, and they just started doing the show uh, after I quit much. They started doing the show, and they never even, they didn't credit me. They didn't ask me. Nothing. And that's one of the reasons I left, because management at that time were a bunch of assholes. Interesting. Okay. I did not know that. And I'm sure most people didn't. Uh, but that's good to know. Because um, I know Denise, who I guess Denise, for people who don't know, no one would probably know where she was basically, she was head of programming. Was that her title? She was, um, I don't know what her title was exactly, but she was in charge. She was in she was charge. In she became in charge of Much Music the same year that I started at Much Music, 1994. I I've heard her interview with Erica and saw videos with her and Strom, but she's fascinating super smart like she had a knack for good talents for you rick strombo um and she said she saw you i believe she saw your abilities to do commentary on videos and it's funny because you look at youtube and all these kids watch watch videos of people just like doing commentary on other videos but you were one of like the originals of that right so i just wonder like you know did you ever foresee the success of fromage like when you first started it well if i didn't think it was going to be any good i wouldn't have wasted my time on it right so I saw that there was potential, but we changed Fromage. Instead of making fun of foreign videos and really cheap videos from people who didn't have the budget, we went and we made fun of uh, the popular videos, the ones that were constantly on high rotation on Much Music, because we thought they deserved more scrutiny than something thrown together by some students from the University of Toronto. Because, uh, well, you know, isn't it, it, you lose the interest... Oh, look, it's a, it's a foreign video. Look at their funny foreign customs. Ha, ha, ha. Like, that's cheap laughs. So we went after the big names. And that's when Fromage really took off.